the word is swing, but the feeling, the feeling is there. You'll feel it. It's more of a, instead of a, it's more of a, look at my neck. What's up my fellow household appliances, it's your boy LJ and I'm back with another video. So I put up a poll on my YouTube community, three video ideas, which ones you guys wanted first. My last video was the how to not suck at making beats. How'd you like that video? Have you, have you been trying it out? Has it been working for you? Let me know in the comments. So today we're gonna be talking about the secrets to lo-fi hip hop, boom bap, hi-hat patterns. If you watch my videos, you know I like to start off with hi-hat loops when I make lo-fi beats. It's really what gets the groove and the bounce and the swing of the beat really started for me. So today I'm just gonna show you a few things that I like to do to make some better hi-hat patterns. As you know, I've been working on LJ Drum Kit Volume 2 for quite some time now. So I will be giving out a little preview pack, whatever hi-hat loops or drum loops we make today will be included in that pack as well as a bunch of drum loops using sounds from Elder Drum Kit Volume 2 which is pretty much finished. I just got a few little finishing touches and it's done so stay tuned for that. There'll be a download link in the description to whatever we come up with right now but without further ado let's get into it. All right so like I said the key to good lo-fi hip-hop boom bap drums is swing. <laughs> That's the main thing. You could call it swing, you can call it groove, just not quantizing your hi-hats. People say don't quantize anything if you want a human feel, but that's not always the case. Most of the time I do quantize my kick and my snare and I just kind of nudge them here and there. The hi-hats is where I really try my best not to quantize and if I do quantize, I nudge them around a lot. So let's just throw in a sample and let's just cook up some drums on the MIDI. We're gonna go with this bad boy right here. Now we have this simple drum pattern. Let's just add the hi-hats to it. My first instinct was just to have that t -t 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 -t. It's kind of an offbeat kind of hi-hat pattern. When it's not quantized on with the drums, it's not really gonna sound good all the time with every beat. But in this scenario, with those drums, it sounds good. Maybe without the drums, Okay, no, I actually just did a really good job. It's normally not that clean. I normally have to go in and mess things around. First thing you want to always do when you're doing these hi-hat patterns is change up the velocity. Uh, depending on what kind of keyboard you have, it might not be velocity sensitive, whatever it may be, but just turn a few notes down. It's never just t -t 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 -t. never. It's usually t -t 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 -t. all different types. So let's do that right now. When you're working with MIDI, it's really easy to get swing. If you're not recording it, it's as simple as holding it, holding command and the right or left arrow and just nudging it. That's what I like to do. And just keep nudging it until it sounds like it's where it needs to be. Let's say maybe it wasn't in MIDI. This is what I like to get swing on everything. You hit this little delay button right there and you just move that up or down. And pretty much up is gonna go right down is gonna go left. So if I make this go all the way to 900. You see how off it is? I normally keep it between like 10 and 50. Those are like the sweet spots. The word is swing, but the feeling, the feeling is there. You'll feel it. It's more of a, instead of a, it's more of a, look at my neck. That's what you need to do. Now, don't be afraid to put like some weird effects on your hi-hat. Give it a little grit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I know a lot of people leave their hi-hats dry. Do not be afraid to throw some RC20 or whatever your favorite effects are on your hi-hats to make them sound weird or whatever. 
But yeah, that's just one little hi-hat pattern I made. Um, real quick, I can open up a few projects to just show you some other hi-hat patterns. hi-hat pattern in this I went for a subtle hi-hat what I mean by that is it's literally just that every now and then it just just fills in the space so keep that in mind when you're making your hi-hats it doesn't always need to be like a lot of hi-hats just fill in some gaps check it out this is the legend of Corey beat with this one, I went with the strategy of having it offset. I'm not sure what the correct term is, but the hi-hat is not on the first beat, it's on the second beat. So it's kind of like a call and response. The kick hits, then the hi-hat hits. One thing to notice, these hi-hats are dragged on, and as you can see, they are not on the grid. They should, if they were on grid, they'd be right here. They're all nudged over to the right. <laughs> So this is me and my girlfriend's new song, Last Night. If you haven't heard it yet, El Diary on all streaming platforms, Last Night. Feature in Nessence, shout out to Nessence. So the key to these hi-hats were swing and velocity. I changed the note a little bit. That's something you can mess with. I don't really care to do that too often. But as you can see here, look at the velocity on this. It's like a roller coaster. It just goes up and down. It seems kind of random. And as you can see, none of the hi-hats are on the grid. One thing to note, when I tell you to make your hi-hats sound weird, it's not just about the hi-hats, it's about pairing it with different sounds to give it that bounce. So it's like, I got this decap percussion loop and all these other little sounds. To me, hi-hat loops aren't just hi-hat loops, it's the percussion loops as well. So check it out. All that together, it turns it from a hi-hat loop to a just bowser bowser, you know what I'm saying? It makes it fire. And yeah, that's a beat. <laughs> I mean, that's a rap. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Those are my top tips for hi-hat patterns or something like that. What's this video about? Bruh. To summarize it, number one, top priority, swing. You can use that by nudging things, playing them in and not quantizing them. Or you can use that little delay method in Ableton I showed you. Two would be velocity. There's a bunch of different things you can do at velocity. I usually do first hi-hat high, second one low, and I repeat that process. Or in last night, you saw how the velocity was kind of like a roller coaster. Just mess around with it. You'll get some interesting sound. And three, weird textures. I'm talking RC20, add in shakers, some type of percussion noises, and a bunch of as many weird noises as you can find to bring it all together. And that's it. That's how you do it. So get cooking. I want to see your stuff. Free preview pack, link in the description. LJ Drum Kit Volume 2 is coming very, very soon. So this is just a preview just to get you guys excited. These are a bunch of drum loops, like maybe like 10 loops in there, hi-hat loops, drum loops, a few, maybe a shaker loop or something like that. It's in this pack. Hit the download completely free. Anyway, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Um, thank you for streaming the music. If you haven't already, L.DRE on all streaming platforms. We're actually at like 450,000 monthly listeners and I haven't even been pressed in the issue so it's looking like we're just gonna hit 500,000 soon it just keeps going up so let's keep it up more music on the way new song dropping this Friday call me I'll also drop that link in the description to pre-save it I'm a table don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be merch coming soon what do you think of this hat it kind of has like the rip design drop a comment let me know if you like this if you'd buy this oh uh, yeah Eldry out <laughs>